Bay Herb Nursery because we came to have a nose at the um, native bees beehives that are here. And this is one of them. They're tiny little bees and they've got a tiny little hive. So when it's together, it's like that. And it looks like that's where the nest goes in the middle, the domed bit. And then that on top is like one of our supers. And we just had a taste of the honey. It was absolutely gorgeous, like nothing I've ever tasted in my life. Beautiful. <laughs> there's a top box there, looks like it lifts off. Mm -hmm. And whether that's to access the honey, I'm not yeah, sure. I don't maybe. know how they work. It's very early days for us. That's on top. Because mm. the way our bees do it is they have the main sort of nest in the bottom, and then you put these supers like drawers on top yeah that's right. so we're here in Bundaberg on a lychee and macadamia farm and this is the native bees in action as you can see they're really really tiny bees so they only got a tiny hole and their job is to basically pollinate all these trees which they do um, really well they make honey but they only make a tiny amount of honey every year so they make about a litre and a half in a whole year so the honey isn't the main thing that's used with these they're used to be pollinators and the proper name for them is trigona carbonara trigona carbonara yeah so there you go so the other thing about them um worth mentioning is the fact that they are stingless bees so there is australian bees they're native to australia they're tiny and they're stingless, although they can give you a nasty bite. Mm -hmm. That's the macadamias on the tree. And then they fall off and then they get picked up. That's how they're harvested. And there, there seems to be about one hive for every two rows of trees on average. Yeah. So there's loads actually on this farm when you add them all up. Mm. 